The final thing we need to do with our projects is mix them down. We want to export these things, either burn a CD, make an MP3, burn a WAV file. Um, we just want to get these things out of MixCraft and onto the real world. So how do you do that? Well, let's take a look. For this example, I've finished the country song that we started earlier and um, got a bunch of different things going on. And if you remember, we could play with different things in our mix. We can um, automate volumes, so we can just click here, this little uh, rubber band thing, and make volumes go up and down. Listen to that real quick, just in case you forgot what that does. Louder, softer. Just following along those little uh, balloons, little bubbles. And um, we make a song. Play our song all the way through. We can change the volume of each uh, track globally with our volume slider. We can change the panning. We can send the acoustic guitars all the way to the left speaker, all the way to the right speaker. All over you go. Or stereo, pan in the middle. Boost our organ lick at the beginning. Here's our organ lick coming up again. So there we go. Heard that? Sorry, I clicked on the little arrow on accident there. And um, we've got a song. We like kind of the volume of the instruments, the instruments we've thrown in on the timeline. Let's um, mix this thing down. First thing we want to do is check at the end of our file and make sure things are going to end cleanly here. Nope, doesn't end cleanly. How about if we had a fade out at the end? We need to fade this thing out. To do a fade out, you just drag um, the little blue box over all the tracks and go up to sound, choose fade out, and something like medium. Yes, we could have grabbed the little bubbles there and automated breakpoints on the whole thing, uh, keyframes in the video guy language, but this is automatic. Let's listen. <laughs> All right, cool. So we have a cool fade out. That's great. And um, if we were doing the beat matching or the DJ mix, we'd want to put a marker out here. Um, that denotes where our next track is on the CD. So we click on a track ID at this point and title this, you know, song two or whatever. And then when we burn a CD, the second song would start, here, you know, so if we had that second song. But we only have one song right now, so we're not going to lay that marker there. We're just going to fade out, be ready to go. And the final thing we might want to do is put some sort of effects on the master fader. Um, we want to make sure the volume is loud and competitive, but not distorted. So if we play our song... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's play back uh, in the middle somewhere. We've got our master fader, and we can change the volume here. We don't want to be up in the red with this thing. Because that's distorted. So we want to turn up our master fader at the loudest part of the song. So we're just under the point where we get red lights. That's the best place to set our master fader. However, we can get it a little bit louder and do a little bit of mastering. That's most commercial CDs you have have had a little bit of mastering done, and it is uh, makes it a little bit louder without too much damage to the music. Hopefully none. To do that, we're going to choose the Project tab and go to the Global Effects section here and choose an effect. And um, a good one to choose is the uh, Classic Master Limiter. Once we bring that up, we can click on Edit, and we have a little um, limiting threshold knob. While we're playing the loudest part of the song, I'm going to turn this threshold knob until we get in two, three at the most dB of compression going on on this meter. And that's a good setting. Any more than that, I start to hear my snare drums getting squashed, so I like that right there. But that's starting to sound pretty pro. That'll get our level right up to a competitive level. We're ready to export. We have a few different options. Um, we can click on the Mix Down to Audio File or Mix Down to CD, Burn to CD button. I'm going to click the Mix to Audio File. Click on that thing, and would you like to save our changes? Sure, why not? 
And we'll save this thing as um, country rock. And it's going to be an MP3. We can change the details, like what's um, compression setting. I like the MPEG uh, 192K is a pretty good size if you're burning MP3s. So we'll say OK to that. And we can tag this thing with um, the name of the song, country rock, uh, Jeff D, and album name and year and all that kind of stuff. That shows up when you drag this mp3 into itunes all those things will be there for you uh, ready to see so let's hit um, save and there we go in the background mixcraft is creating the uh, file it's working hard making that that song file if you have a fast computer it happens a lot faster than real time all right that thing's all done i think we're ready to check out our file we just need to pop up to our folder full of uh, Mixcraft goodies. And oh, wait, we're already dumped into iTunes. Here we go. see our info is laid in correctly and everything. We're all ready to go.